Who is Ruben Train? All right, Ruben Train. His son worked for him for years till he developed enough money so that he can get his engineering degree to help engineer. They uh, started off with chillers and stuff. They hired tons and tons Train. of engineers. So they have Ruben the most Train. engineers with the most patent. Uh, they're very proud of their engineering. So Why are we not surprised? Yeah, train bunch of engineers. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to yeah. stop yeah. a train. Absolutely. Right, Absolutely. So this condenser is a 4 TTR 4036. Air handler is a TEM 4B037. This is a SEER 2 rating of 14.3. And the BTUs on it is 34,200. 200. So let's get started. The height and low pressure cutout switches. This has it. 20 points, 10 points Very each. Good. Small dimension size. Yep. Obviously, the smaller the better. And you get 10 points for that. The heavy duty uh, protective covering over the coil. Yep. It's pretty stiff. Yeah. Probably the stiffest of all. Yep, 10 yep. points for that. So we have noise reducing fan blades on here. Very good. Gentech condenser fan motor. Gentech. Keep that in mind. The compressor, Gentech. The compressor is an Alliance compressor. So Alliance is made by Copeland specifically for train. Yeah. So you only they see very the Alliance compressors in train. Yeah. You oh, only yeah. see them in train. Why am I not surprised? Yeah. Again. So they got a high and low pressure cutoff switch. Very good feature. We have these aluminum spine fin coils. So those spine are, fin coils. Yeah, so there's three eight, three eight size tubing in there. And look on the bottom, you see that row and there's nothing connecting to it? So that's basically like... Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so so they don't rub on the bottom there, you know? You don't leak in a refrigerant. So wow. Pretty good feature there. Very, very good. And it's got the plastic bottom. Plastic bottom. Which never rust ever rust out. Yeah, never so, ever. So let me, get, let me get into the scoring here, how we okay. scored this condenser. Okay. So you got 10 points for each... High and low pressure switch. Okay. Uh, that's 20 points. Um, Very good. The dimensions of this unit, if you could look, it's pretty small. So we're going to give a small dimension size. 10 Definitely. points for that. Smaller the better. Heavy, heavy duty protective co uh, covering over that condenser coil. Very good stuff. Going to get 10 points for that. Excellent. Uh, it's got an aluminum spine fin coil, so we gave it points for the aluminum coil, 10 points. Excellent. I wish I could give it more points for the spine fin. Yeah, I mean, when, this is the, we, we didn't want to open up the argument, right? right? The tubing size on that is 3 8 Big tubing size on that. Huge, it's get 10 points huge. for that. The noise rating on it, rated below 74 decibels, so very definitely good. get points for that because it's very rated good. below. It's going to get 10 points for Absolutely. that. Absolutely. The exterior filter dryer over here, if you look. Let's so everybody, over here. everybody likes the filter dryers outside. Nobody wants, oh, yeah. nobody wants Absolutely. them inside. It's right there. Yeah. Big compartment for extra um, accessories. Accessories. So you can right. put your hard start kit, your surge protectors, whatever else you need inside. Definitely. There. Very good. All right, so 10 points for the filter dryer exterior and then 10 points for the composite bottom. Put along to the air handler. Take a look at that coil right there. All right, so let's look at this coil. Look it's at huge. this coil. Yeah, it's got 10 millimeter tubes here, four rows, four 20 something rows. inches tall. So the reason for this is because volume of refrigerant. So this condenser has those three eighths uh, tube coils there. That holds a lot of refrigerant. So it's gotta be pumped into this uh, evaporator here and for heat pumps too, you know? So it sure, can be used sure. for heat pumps too. Absolutely. Many, many. Unbelievable. There's a tons of things that you could do with these big coils. It has the corrugated coil fins. So these wavy fins over here on these coils, that's really good. That's even further increasing surface area, yeah, folks. 20 points. 20 Unbelievable. Points. Everyone that got corrugated yeah. coil fins we gave it 24 you know i could just sit there and just look at the stair at the coil for hours yeah, this very is well beautiful engineered. very well yeah engineered. uh as for reliability of this coil we're gonna give it 10 point um, definitely sorry, we're gonna give it 30 points 30 points 50. 30 points out of the that's 50 it. that's pretty, the highest pretty reliable coil there you oh know? yeah uh, oh yeah next access to the txv to be able to change yeah. this expansion valve uh pretty easy serviceable gonna get a lot of points, space 10 points for that very unique feature right here. Check this out. Just blower housing. Very aerodynamic. This is for cavitation. Now, this is impressive. This is That is quiet. impressive. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool design on that. Yeah. We're going to give it 10 points. It has four motor mounts on here. Going to give it 10 points for that. Yeah, very good. This has the Gentech 5-speed ECM motor. Famous X13 motor by Gentech. Very good motor here. Access to clean the drain pan. Pretty good. All right. 10 points for that. 10 points for the very ECM. Very good feature. 10 points for the ECM motor. Now, let's look at this total system all together. We're going to do the reliability score on this. Uh, this will get 10 points. It's either 10 or nothing. The train's going to get the 10 points for the reliability. This is an opinion score, so take it for what you want. Very good system.